Welcome to my guide on PSP Slim Hacking. Note that this guide is for PSP Slims only, not PSP Fats. Also note, I am no way responsible for anything that might happen to your PSP, and I cannot guarantee success for everyone. Um, before you start, make sure you have all the things that you need, which is listed in the description, because you don't want to finish and realize you don't have something, so just, just look in the description and make sure you have everything. Right, step one is making a Pandora battery. There's three ways you can make it. Uh, one is buy it online, which is ridiculous because you shouldn't spend money on a PSP battery that you're only going to use once. Uh, another thing you could do is the soft mod method, which you need another PSP with custom firmware running on it, which is redundant considering that you are trying to hack a PSP in the first place. And the third method is the hard mod method, which is what I'm going to show you. Uh, so to begin, also remember this requires a lot of patience, take your time, and do not rush. Alright, so I'm using a guitar pick. You should use a knife, which is listed in the description, uh, an exacto knife or something. And first, you're going to cut around all the edges. Just make indents. You're going to notice that my PSP battery looks a little different than yours. Uh, it's cut because I've already made mine a Pandora battery. So um, once you do an indent on all the sides, you're going to put the knife between the uh, battery from the top and the bottom. Picture as a lip right in the middle and you're lifting the bottom from the top. All you're doing is cutting the glue that is separating the two, the top and the bottom. And you're going to do that on all the sides and once you do that you should be able to open your battery and remove the top and bottom. So here's the top and here's the bottom. Alright, so you can pause the video until you get to this point. Um, when you do get here, you're going to see, you, it's going to lift this green thing back. Alright. And you're going to notice, and you see this thing, and then right under here is a board. Um, each side has four pins on it, and this side has four, and this side has four. Um, however, you're going to cut the pin, the fourth pin on this side. Um, once you cut it, you're going to close this back up. And you're going to cover your battery again. You can use tape or whatever just to hold it for now. You may only want to tape one side because that's all you need. And you're going to get your PSP and put the battery in. Now to make sure it works, when you put the battery in, the power light, the green light, will automatically turn on. You can't really see it here, but the green light will automatically turn on and the screen will remain black. If this happens, then you have successfully made your Pandora battery. If the green light does not come on and you try turning the, bat you try turning the PSP on and it turns on normally, then you did not Pandorize your battery and take out. So you should take out your battery again, uh, undo everything, and make sure that pin is cut because uh, that's that's why it's not working. When you when you think that the pin is cut, go back, put the battery in, and when the green light is on, it turns on automatically. Then you are ready for the next step, which is making a magic memory stick.